What is up you beautiful farmers, it's your boy Carl and if you don't know me, I'm a 28 year old sheep farmer and sheep shearer from Sligo in the northwest of Ireland. And this week we've got something different. We're oh. here with my mate Will from Cowley Hill. How are you getting on Will? Yeah, not too bad. Today we've just come over to England as I'm showing Carol some of the proper sheep in the world. So we've got some <laughs> cleans here today. <laughs> um, so these are basically the poorer tucks that we've kept back this year. There's about 40 left. So the plan is this morning, we're going to pull some of these out to go to the local butcher. to Clean, you clean or... ram lambs yeah. just go to the butcher. Yeah. That's the only spell yeah. for them. Yeah. You don't want the breeding, like. No, no, no. Well, we have some. We have. You don't want any cleanse breeding. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Came over to visit a couple of people in England, and I said I'd stop in with Will for a couple of days and see what he's up to. And he's yeah, very nice to put me up. Hoping to get cheering a few sheep today. Yeah, but, but it's a yeah, it's a real. I brought the yeah. Irish weather with me, so I did. Yeah, we haven't had any rain for like two months. He comes over about about twenty five mil in two <laughs> days, so we're we're quite glad. But it's not the best. You're welcome, moment. England. Yeah, yeah, we need it. <laughs> right, sure, we'll get into it. Good excuse for me not to do any work. Oh, I have to film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine bit of kit, Will. Yeah, it's decent. Mm. Right. Probably something that we should have with all the rented land we have. But... It's just so good to go and take to mm. different places. Yeah. Right. If you take, right, three hurdles. We've got a few of them at home. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we have patties, so yeah, they're the same, same thing. thing. How many gates is on the wrapper? 22, but you can go up to 26. Right. Roughly, what? how much would that be now at the moment, say? Like, yeah, I know you bought it a couple of years ago. Nine, get... nine grand. Yeah, pounds. Yeah, 9,000 pounds, but we got it on the grant. Yeah. So it was a farm pro productivity grant, so we got 40% off it. Yeah, it's very it's good. to improve productivity on yeah. the farm. Yeah, that was good. Because yeah, it's an uh, invaluable bit of kit. Yeah, yeah, it's the best bit of kit we got on the farm. Yeah. But I used to go around with like hurdles on the back of a flatbed. Oh, yeah. Imagine how long it took compared to doing. Sheep are so easy going compared to ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the road Casey would be going <laughs> over the field after them. They'd be running. <laughs> Come on. Only been here. Not getting fed today. Come on. Trained, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the sheep in. Local laboratory, that's where you're going to. Yeah, yeah, literally, the local laboratory is four miles away. Yeah. And they and go the to job. the local butcher. Yeah. It's like literally the same village that I live in. That's nice. So you can go with a few, like, you don't have to yeah, wait until yeah, there's yeah. like 50 ready. Yeah, like, like, that's nice. You know? but, yeah, because of the short mileage, I take like six to 12 a week. Mm. Far away. Get your beer tokens for the yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This couple of boys are long term projects, as we say over home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, um, They're only young, I tell them. Yeah, right? they should have been born, a really late born lambs that we didn't know she was in lamb. Yeah. Then that one's just never grown. Yeah. So these what? are young, that's just never grown. Yeah. But the rest, they're proper fat lambs. They'll come into something someday. So it's no secret you're a big fan of cleanse. Why? Just easy, easy lambing, good all round sheep, so no problems with lambing, like I said. They're milky you, so they'll win, yeah. uh, get lambs up to finish them before you wean them sometimes. Yeah. They're just good all round the sheep. Yeah. And um, they might not be as like confirmation wise like a Tex or a Charolais, but they're getting on that way. Like yeah. they're not little. Mm. Them things that are just skinny, there's a decent bit of meat on them. Yeah. yeah. So com for a commercial farmer, Clean yours and then put something like yeah, a Texler Charlie yeah, to them. It. It's a good a combo. Would do. <laughs> not this week for you. Yeah, definitely. Why are you in such a big rush to die? Savage land over here, but at the same time, only recovering from drought. Like, yeah, you can yeah. see it's got like a yellow tinge to it. Yeah. It's like greened up the last week, mm. but before that, you can see all the dead bits. It's really, really bad. I'd say it was bad here two weeks ago. Yeah. We well, can see yeah. down there why it was like yeah. all those fields. 
So now we're over with the yo's and the OLMs and the day has improved. Now there's meant to be a thunderstorm coming in two odd hours, but it doesn't look like it. It's blowing up a good day. Such an Irish day. Muggy and drizzly and misty in the morning and now it's blowing up a decent enough day like <laughs> ridiculous but I'm just waiting gonna go over and give Will and Josie a hand I don't know if you can see them in the distance there's no zoom in this bloody GoPro camera and we have the Rapa handling unit kind of half set up so I'm gonna go over and give them a hand to get the lambs in there we have the clean your lambs Very nice. And we're done. So what is the grand total? What is grand total? Oh, 96 I got, 96. could be one or two either. That sounds about right to fair. Ideal, we're done. Nice shoes. They're proper shearing shoes. I'm gonna wear this straight to the pub. <laughs> we're trying to produce new lambs and ewes to breed. So we want them to last as long as possible, produce as many lambs as possible, yeah. and be good mums and produce decent lambs that grow quick. So. Yeah. Grand skin thing, we're not looking for big sheep, we're looking for something probably around 70 kilo, maybe slightly bigger. Yeah. Doesn't eat too much grass because the more they eat, the more they cost to keep. It's all really possible. inputs and outputs, isn't well, it, for people it. that aren't farmers? Like it's, yeah. yeah, it's just you're trying to get as reduce. much out of them, mm. putting as little in as possible. Mm. But it's the same with any business, it's like making profit. If you spend more, yeah. you're going to make less money. That's so it, it's the yeah. same with these. Yeah. Really? But, and um, grass, even though you might, the grass is a cost too. Like yeah. you mightn't be. Even if you own that grass, it can cost money to grow it because you're oh, putting exactly. out fertilizer. And there's an opportunity cost there that if, you know, you, like that big yo is eating that grass when something else can yeah. be generating money or something else. So it's there and something else isn't there. So that's, oppo that's the opportunity cost too. And then if you rent land, you have to pay for that. Exactly. Oh. And the good fa thing about the farm at home, like I said to you the other day, our main enterprise is producing hay and haylage for the equine world, so yeah. it is an opportunity because we could cut it. Well, that's it for me and Will. It was great coming down. Uh, great. I enjoyed <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for me and Will. Go and subscribe to Cowley Hill Farm. Thank you. See you for the next one, guys. Cheers, mate.